When Westpac raised its interest rates over and above a reserve bank rise last year, it copped a barrage of criticism. But incredibly, other banks are looking to do the same now. Despite rates being kept on hold today, there's concern the banks may lift theirs anyway. But one lender is breaking ranks to encourage customers to put the banks on notice. So you work for Suncorp, you work for a bank. Can we give yes. you some money? Yes. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Free cash. Yes. <laughs> How much did you get? Twenty dollars. We're giving some money back. Right. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I've got some interest. The message is the bank should be doing exactly the same thing. They shouldn't be increasing the rates anymore. The banks are crying poor, victims of the global financial crisis. You won't get fired for this when you want us. No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. To be fuck, I didn't see anything. But home loan renegade Wayne Ormond says they've got money to burn. They're treating us like we are fools. The mortgage broker and owner of Refund Home Loans has made his brand giving back the commissions that banks charge. This cash giveaway sparked by concerns of an impending cash grab. Giving away money clearly has the big banks nervous. But it'll be us giving out the money soon, with the big four and their smaller friends expected to go on a cash grab of their own, raising their interest rates independent of the Reserve Bank. The reality is the banks are making massive profits. They've got to, uh, and I believe they've got to be obligated to pass some of that back to the consumers. You're confusing me. You're confusing me. For someone who cares. Barbara from Bankworld could well be on the money, even on the Australian Bankers Association website. It states company directors of banks are required to give primary concern to the interests of shareholders. Banks have an obligation to look after their shareholders' interests. That's actually in the law. But equally, there's no better way to look after your shareholders' interests than to do the right thing by your customers. Stephen Munchenberg is the chief executive of the Australian Bankers Association. We are in an environment where banks will be charging differently to the Reserve Bank for a little while. Um, they will absorb some of the additional costs that they're having to bear, but they'll also need to pass some of those on. To justify raising rates, banks are pointing the finger at Europe's debt crisis, which they say is pushing up the cost of borrowing money from overseas. But banks don't just borrow money offshore to lend to us. In fact, Australian banks borrow largely from our savings accounts, the money we've stashed away, and they pay us interest for, which is a lot cheaper than borrowing overseas. This is a, an incredible monopoly ripoff to the tune of about $20 billion per annum. Australia Institute's senior researcher David Richardson says the banks are profiteering from what's an essential service. Over the last 12, 13 years, bank fees have increased from over, a bit over $3 billion to just under $13 billion. Last year, ANZ, Commonwealth Bank, NAB and Westpac made close to $23 billion before tax. This during the GFC. They're charging us record fees. We're one of the most expensive banking environments in the world. We do need profitable banks. Um, they do need to be able to raise money offshore to lend in Australia, otherwise they're not going to be able to continue to fund the Australian economy. The big four banks represent 67% of all banking. In the past 12 months, that share has grown to 76%. In that time, the Commonwealth Bank has bought out the Bank of Western Australia. Westpac has taken over St George Bank. More power to charge you more. With the federal election just around the corner, the warning bells are ringing. Every time there is an interest rate increase over and above what the Reserve Bank has prescribed happens during a big news day. So I'm thinking that we've got an election coming not too far away. That's a fairly big news day. Let's see if those...